So we're going to start with a standing half double crochet and again this designer does it slightly different. Um, if you're used to using a slip knot on your hook for a standing stitch, we're just going to loop the yarn over a hook. I have my short end and my working yarn crossed over in front. So we'll yarn over We will insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Be careful not to be too tight on that first one to complete our half double crochet. So to work the needle join, um, when we've come up to where our standing stitch was, we'll cut our working thread, pull the loop through with our hook, and then we want to take our needle and inserting in the back loop of that first stitch, we will just gently pull to get the uh, that top loop of that stitch. So she calls that a provisional loop. Remove that loop. Then we're going to thread the needle through both loops on that second stitch. So if it was a stitch beside it, you would go through both top loops. This is a um, chain, but you're still going through the, the top loops. Then you turn your work over and come down through the back loop of the last stitch we made and that third back loop. Okay, and then we pull that so that our new top loops are about the same size as our other stitches. And then we'll just take the two ends and cross them once to keep them secure. Round one, starting with a magic ring. We'll chain two, which counts as a half double crochet and work 11 half double crochet into the ring. When you've worked all the way around with those 11 half double crochet, you can tighten up your magic ring and fasten off if you're switching colors <clears throat> using the needle join. If you're continuing with the same color as I am, you'll join with a slip stitch to the top of that starting chain two. So 12 half double crochet. Round two, if we're staying with the same color, we will chain two to start. If you're joining a new color, you can work a standing half double crochet in any of the stitches from last round. The beginning chain two counts as a half double crochet. Then we will chain one. And repeating around, we'll half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one. Continue that all the way around, joining to our starting chain two, or fastening off with a needle join if you're going to change color. 12 half double crochet and 12 chain one spaces. So round three, if you're starting with a new color, you wanna work a standing double crochet from behind in the same stitch that our half double crochet is worked into of round one. So I've just placed it just beside the same stitch in the top of that half double crochet from round one. And then we'll work a back post single crochet around the next half double crochet of round two. So working the double crochet just past the half double crochet we just worked around into the same stitch from round one, back post single around the next half. Double crochet in the same stitch that that half was worked into. Back post single around the next. So you can continue that all the way around, joining to our starting stitch with that needle join if you want to change colors. So you should have 12 double crochet and 12 back post single crochet. Round four, starting with a new color, you'll start with a standing half double crochet in any of the double crochet from last round. 
If you're using the same color, you would just chain two, which would count as a half double crochet. We'll work a second half double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one. We'll skip the back post single and into the next double, we will work two half double crochet. Chain one, skip the back post single, and so on. So two half double crochet in each of the double crochet. Chain one, skip the back post single, work that around, joining to our starting stitch. 24 half double crochet and 12 chain one spaces. Round five, I'm continuing with the same color. So I'm going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. If you're changing color, you will start with a sand, standing double crochet in the first of any set of two half double crochet. We'll double crochet in the next half double crochet. And in the chain one space, we will place two double crochet. And repeat that around. So double crochet in each of the half doubles. And two double crochet in each chain one space. And once you've worked your way all the way around, you can join to our starting stitch to end the round. 48 double crochet. Fasten off with a needle join if you're changing colors. For round six, we are going to be working a treble four together stitch. We're going to make two partial trebles in the skipped back post single and two more partial trebles in the next skipped, and then we will yarn over and join them together. So we want to start with a standing partial treble. So you have your starting loop and you yarn over twice. Insert into that back post single crochet working in front of the previous two rounds. Pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, leaving two loops on the hook. Yarn over twice again and into the same stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, two more times. We'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over two times, go to the next back post single that we skipped, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two times, four loops on your hook, yarn over two more times into that same skipped back post single, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, and you should have five loops on your hook yarn over, pull through all five loops for that treble four together stitch. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. So we'll continue working treble four together. We'll start in the same stitch that we finished our last treble four together working two of those partial trebles and then the next leg or the next two partial trebles will go in that next skipped back post single. Pull through all loops on the hook, chain four and then ready to start again working into that same stitch as we just finished our last treble four together. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around, joining to our starting treble four together to end this round. So you may find it easier as you're working to fold back rounds four and five to be able to have easier access to that skip stitch on round three as we work these treble four together. As we come to the end of the round, we will make the start of a treble four together in that last stitch. And then we need to remember to add 
the other leg or two more of the partial trebles to our starting stitch. Chain four. And then you can go ahead and join to the stop, to the top of our starting stitch to finish this round. So 12 treble four together and 12 chain four spaces. And you want to be sure to draw your tails through to the back of your work at the end or sew them in right away if you prefer. Round seven, we are going to start in the first double crochet of round five that's worked into the chain one space. We want to, however, work with this chain four from last round behind. So yarn over, insert the hook under the chain four space and into that first double crochet worked in that chain one space. And then I use my hook to pull the loops of the double crochet to the front yarn over and finish the half double crochet. Now I find it easier for myself to use a slip knot to start this standing half double crochet. If the other works well for you as the designer showed, please use that technique. And we'll half double crochet in each of the next two stitches from round five, bringing them to the front of the chain four as well. Front post single crochet around the treble four together. So insert your hook around the back. We want to make sure we're up at the top of the treble four together to make a front post single crochet. And we'll repeat that again. So working in those stitches from round five, finding that first double crochet worked into the chain one space. We'll work that half double crochet in there and the next two stitches working in front of the chain four. And then the front post single around the treble four together. And we'll repeat that around. 36 half double crochet and 12 front post single crochet. So we'll start with a standing front post double around the treble four together that we worked that front post single around last round and then working behind last round into that chain four space we will place four half double crochet and we'll repeat that around front post double around the treble four together four half double crochet in that chain four space. So you can work that around joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round. 12 front post double crochet and 48 half double crochet. Round nine, we'll start with the standing half double crochet in any of the stitches, or if you're continuing with the same color, you can chain two, which counts as a half double crochet. And we're just working our way around. We will place a half double crochet in each of the stitches around the circle. And then join to our starting stitch when you've worked your way around. So you'll want to join with the needle join at the end of this round. You will have 60 half double crochet. Round 10, we want to find the half double crochet that is worked into the second half double crochet that we made in that chain four space. So the second half double crochet worked in the chain four space, the stitch that is worked into that, we will make a back post half double crochet around that stitch. We will place two back post, no, we'll back post half double crochet around each of the next two stitches. And then around the next stitch, we will place two back post half. So we work a back post half double crochet 
For the second one, I just insert my hook above or on top of where we place the first back post half. So two back post half around that same stitch. And back post half in the next. So our repeat is three back post half double crochet. One, two, and three. Two back post half around the next stitch. And back post half in the next. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round. 72 back post half double crochet. Round 11, for our starting stitch, we want to find the set of two back post double crochet that was worked around the same stitch. And then count one, two, three half double crochet past that, and we'll start with a standing double crochet in that third half past where we worked two back post stitches around the one stitch. Or if you're starting with the same color, you'll chain four from where you left off, which counts as a double crochet, chain one. So we do need to make a chain one after our standing double. And we'll place three more double crochet in that same stitch. One, two, and three. So starting with the four double crochet in that same stitch. We'll skip two stitches, a single crochet in the next. Which will be in that second back post stitch that was made around the same stitch. Skip two stitches. In the next stitch, we'll place three double crochet. One, two, three, chain one, and three more double crochet. One, two, and three. We'll continue that around. Skip two stitches, single crochet, skip two stitches, three double crochet, chain one, One, two, there's my three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in that same stitch, and skip two, and so on. So you can continue to work that all the way around, and I'll meet you just at the end of the round. When we get to the end of the round, we will skip two, single crochet in that last stitch, or in that next stitch, skip two, and then we will need to place two more double crochet in the same stitch as our starting stitches to complete that shell or set. And then you will join to that starting stitch. 72 double crochet, 12 single crochet, and 12 chain one spaces. Round 12, starting with a new color, we'll make a standing double crochet in any of these chain one spaces at the top of those peaks. We'll place a second double crochet in that same space, chain one, and two more double crochet in that same space as our starting stitch. Around each of the next three stitches, we'll work a back post double crochet. One, two, 
to and three back post double crochet. skip the single crochet and work a back post double around each of the next three stitches again. Oops. There we go, two and three back post double crochet. And then in the chain one space, work those two double crochet. Chain one, two double crochet. So we'll work our way around with those two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the tops of the peaks and the three back post double crochet on either side, skipping the single crochet. So you can go ahead and work that around, joining to our starting stitch at the end of this round. 72 back post double crochet, 48 double crochet, and 12 chain 1 spaces. Round 13, if you're starting with a new color, you'll want to make a back post single around the last double crochet before any of those chain 1 spaces. So back post single crochet, around that last double. We'll chain one, back post single around each of the next 10 stitches. So that will be these two double just past the chain one space, back post single around each of the six back post double crochet from last round. So it's three, four, five, and six, and then back post single around those next two double crochet for our 10 back post single crochet. And we'll start that again with the chain one and the 10 back post singles. So you can go ahead, work that all the way around, joining to our starting stitch, but do not fasten off. 120 back post single crochet and 12 chain one spaces. If you're continuing with the same color, you'll chain one right where we left off. If you're joining a new color for round 14, you'll want to start with a standing single crochet in the last back post single before any of the chain one spaces. So this chain one that we just made is counting as our first single crochet. We want to single crochet in this chain one space. We'll skip two stitches, double crochet in the next stitch, skip a stitch, and we're going to make a half treble in each of the next two stitches. So we yarn over twice, insert, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three for a half treble. We'll skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. We'll skip the next single crochet in the next, which should be the stitch just before that chain one. We'll place a single crochet in that chain one space. We'll skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, skip the next stitch, and we're going to place five treble crochet. One, two, three, four, and five treble crochet, which should bring us to a chain one space. We'll place 
two trebles in that space. One, two treble crochet, chain one, two trebles. Treble crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five trebles. Skip a stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next. And we're ready to repeat that three more times. So we're going to be squaring off our motif. So I'll meet you at the end of this round. So on your last repeat, you will have made this last double crochet, skip the stitch, and then we'll knit that last single crochet and join to our starting single crochet or the starting chain one to finish off this round. Fifty-six trebles, eight half trebles, twenty-four double crochet, sixteen single crochet, and twelve chain one spaces. Round fifteen. We are going to start in the second single crochet of any side. So if you're continuing with the same color, you'll just chain one from where we left off. That single crochet should be the one that's placed in that chain one space. So we'll single crochet in that stitch. And then single crochet in the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We'll skip that chain one space and we're going to make back post double crochet around the next eight stitches. One, two, three, seven and eight back post double crochet. In the corner stitch we're going to or space we're going to make two double crochet. Chain one, two more double crochet in that corner space. Back post double around the next eight stitches. It's two, seven and eight back post double crochet. Skip the chain one space, we'll single crochet in these next three stitches. One, two, and three. And ready to start that repeat again with single crochet in those next seven stitches and so on. So go ahead, work that all the way around joining to our starting stitch at the end of a round. So on the last repeat you need to omit that final single crochet and just join with a needle join to our starting stitch to finish off. 
16 doubles, 64 back post double crochet, 40 singles, and 4 chain 1 spaces. Round 16, you will chain 1 if you're using the same color, and then single crochet in the same stitch, or start with a standing single crochet in the second single crochet of each side, or of any side. And then we'll place a single crochet in each of the next 8 stitches. It's 2, 3, 8 single crochet, half double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. 1, 2, 9, and 10 half double crochet, which should bring us to that corner chain space where we will place 2 half double crochet, chain 1, and 2 more half double crochet, all in that corner space. We'll skip this first stitch, which is hidden by our corner stitches, and half double crochet in each of the next nine stitches. So that's two, three, eight, and nine half double crochet. We'll single crochet in the next two stitches and ready to begin the repeat again with single crochet in the next eight and so on. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. On the last repeat you'll omit the final single crochet and join to our starting stitch. 92 half double crochet, 40 single crochet, and the four chain one spaces. Round 17, if you're continuing with the same color, we will chain two, which counts as a half double crochet. If you're joining with a new color, you want to join with a standing half double crochet in the second stitch of each, or the second single crochet on any side. So we will place a half double crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. So 20 half double crochet down the side. It's two, three. The 20th half double crochet should fall on that last stitch before the corner space. In the corner we will place two half double crochet chain one and two more half double crochet all in that corner space. We'll skip the first stitch which is hidden by our corner stitches and we'll half double crochet in the next 12, two, three, Eleven and twelve half double crochet, ready to start our twenty double or half double crochet down the side. When you've worked your way all the way around, you'll omit the last half double crochet and join with a needle join to our starting stitch. One hundred and forty four half double crochet and the four chain one spaces. Round 18, we're going to begin in any of the chain one corner spaces, starting with a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. We're going to work back post half double crochet around each of the 36 stitches on the sides and then placing 
that half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in each corner. So you can go ahead and work those back post half double crochet along each side with those corner stitches and joining with the needle join to our start to end this round. 144 back post half double crochet, four chain two spaces and eight half double crochet. Round 19, our final round for this square. We will start with a standing half double crochet in any of the corners, chain two and another half double crochet. If you're staying with the same color, you'll want to slip stitch into the chain two space and then chain two, which would count as your first half double crochet. So after your corner stitches, we will start in the very first stitch making a half double crochet in each of the stitches. So that first one can sometimes be a bit hidden by our corner stitches. So we wanna make sure we place a stitch in the first and each stitch down the side. 38 half double crochet plus our corner of half double, chain two, half double. Finishing off with the needle join to our starting stitch to end this lovely square. 160 half double crochet with those four corner chain two spaces. If you um, find that your square is not quite the right size, you could adjust that half double crochet and make single crochet instead, or double crochet if you need to match the size of your other squares. 